Thank you for attending this section, and also thanks for the uh, moderator to introduce. Uh, so today, I will talk talking about our use of uh, computational technologies to explore the issue of general identification, specifically on how general classification can be used to examine the stylistic independence of uh, modern Chinese prose poetry. Uh, before we begin, I'd like to mention that our prayer is not the same as the one we submitted. We will focus mainly on the rhythmic patterns and the figures, uh, which is what we are more interested in. Uh, so first of all, why we are interested in this topic? We have to start with the uh, vernacular uh, poetry movement, Bai Hua Shi Yun Dong, before and after many first time in Chinese modern literature history. We may know that since the first prose poem, San Wen Shi, was translated by Liu Banong and uh, published in the New Use, new literary writers began writing a large amount of uh, prose poem in newspapers uh, and uh, periodicals, just like the one uh, we post here. Uh, the prose poem became a popular, very popular general label used to this day. However, unlike the early establishment of a vernacular new poetry, uh, a quite typical Chinese vernacular uh, new literary genre, uh, at what level it can be uh, regarded as an independent genre? Uh, is it a prose poem, a separate genre, or just uh, subordinate to the new poetry, or be a uh, byproduct of the new poetry in movement. Uh, where is the boundary between them? Such kind of question has given rise to a considerable amount of uh, discussions, but it remains an open question today. So in this study, we focus on thousands of translated and uh, uh, original composed text of a prose poem and a new poetry published during the China Republic period, and uh, in particular on the rhythmic Forms and uh, we use machine learning, logistic re regression, and uh, similarity calculation and product uh, classifica uh, classification experiment while trying to identify what specific feature or patterns, if really exist, uh, distinguish them from the new poetry, and which text translators and also our authors are more and more uh, crucial to the uh, shaping of the poetic. Uh, practice in the new literature field. Uh, so this is, of course, what we will further explore in the next step with the novel analysis. And the ransom experiment is only one aspect of the formal issues, the, the first step. Uh, so here's our procedure. Firstly, we collect OCR 1,516 works uh, uh, with the label of San Wen Shi uh, from the Archive of uh, Republic of Periodicals. At the same time, we initially built a cross uh, reference the corpus of uh, 1,925 new poems. All tokenized corpus are marked with the symbol slash uh, for the rhythmic pause. Uh, here, the uh, important thing is the, uh, what, what we do in this way. Uh, pause ting dun equals to the uh, suspension. Uh, but not limited to a linguistic term. It comes from the uh, 1930s new poetry rhythmic uh, theorist. That is, in terms of the serious pause, uh, it is basically unique that forms the rhythm of uh, new poetry. So in the next step of a feature extraction, we use a combination of a pause based on an engram retrieval to uh, represent the rhythmic forms of each text. At last, we select the most distinctive uh, feature at the level of the entire copper, uh, which was based on the result of a general classification and the logistic uh, regression. That is, if we want to uh, find the most effective uh, rhythmic form feature that distinguish cross form from the new poetry, we first train a two class uh, classifier with the labeled coppers. And then, uh, when the accuracy is the uh, uh, highest, we pick up the most effective uh, figures by the logistic regression. These figures were used for the first test, uh, similarity testing and the close reading analysis. Next, uh, let me introduce the experimental part. Firstly, we conducted a hierarchical clustering experiment based on all features we expected. We 
randomly select the 100 samples is from cross points and new points. As can be seen from the diagram, the method successfully divided the sample set into two major categories, with most of the samples on the left being new points and uh, those on the right being cross points. This indicates that there are certain differences in uh, rhythmic features between cross points and new points. To further explore the effects of rhythmic features in distinguishing between them, we use the new points as positive symbols, cross points as negative symbols, and conducted a binary classification experiment using logic re regression model. The model achieved an accuracy of 79% uh, on the validation side and 78% on the text side. Additionally, to uncover which specific features had a significant impact on the model, we view these the model co coefficients. The following image shows the top six, six, uh, 60 features with the greatest contribution. The model coefficients on the left are negative, corresponding to cross points, and uh, on the right are positive, corresponding to new points. Observing the feature at, uh, terms, we can notice an interesting phenomenon. Uh, features on the left are mostly kind of positive within sentences, uh, while those on the right are mostly kind of positive between sentences. This indicates that if a sample has higher values for positive between sentences, the model tends to classify it as a new point. Uh, conversely, if a sample has higher values for positive uh, for process within sentences, the model tends to classify it as a cross point. To further validate this, we calculated the similarity between each point in the corpus based on the rhythmic sequence. This table shows the result of the similarity uh, calculations for the new points. By considering the examples on the right, we can see that uh, we have calculated pairs of new points that are highly similar in uh, uh, rhythmic features here in the pulse features between sentences played a major role. Uh, in contrast to new poems, the similarity among symbols of pulse poems is rather low, indicating that they don't adhere a uh, fixed metrical pattern. Although our features have a difficulty to identify rhythmic difference between cross poems themselves from the perspective of uh, the expectation, uh, we can see that when we classify a text as a new poem, distinguishing from a prose poem, rhythmically, we tend to recognize a new poem by prose features between sentences, or recognize a prose poem based on prose, a prose features within sentences. As mentioned before, using only rhythmic features to distinguish between new prose poems and prose poems has already achieved an accuracy rate nearly 80% to further enhance the performance of genre uh, distinction, we conducted an experiment by uh, incorporating additional features on top of the uh, rhythmic features. Here, we, had, uh, uh, we have added from features such as average sentence length, lexical and syntactic features, and the semantic features such as the vector. Uh, the animation below illustrates groups of symbols in the vector space that are semantically close to each other. Uh, by concatenating these features and feeding them into a logistic regression model, we found a significant improvement in performance. The accuracy on the test set reached uh, uh, 93%. The following graph illustrates the probability distribution of the model on the test set. The vertical axis represents the model's probability of judging a sample as a cross point. Each point in the graph represents a point, a point simple, with the lower half being simple that the model identifies as new points, and the upper half being simple that the model identifies as cross points. It is it's evident that the model's classification promise is quite good. Additionally, uh, the graph can help to identify controversial works. For instance, consider the piece below. Uh, which was marked as a cross poem when published, but the model classified it as a new poem. Also, uh, consider the symbols located in the middle boundary area. By close reading, we can deepen our understanding of rhythmic distinction and uh, the 
uh, genre recognition in modern Chinese po po poetic literature. Uh, that concludes the main content of our chat. We welcome suggestions from everyone. Thank you.